All right, so we got that table right there. Now let's get back to the getting. Come on, open up. Yeah. I got this old, it's like a little, uh, I don't know what you want to say. It's like a little Jeep. This motherfucker slowed in the mud. Slow ass Jeep. I'm like, God damn, I think I got this motherfucker, man. But well, anyway, guys, I got my Raiders hat on. I'm rocking for the Raiders today. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the Raider fans out there, man. And if you're a hater out there, hating on the Raiders, it's all right. They won't be the first or the last. It won't be the first or the last. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we about to get up out of here. We're going to put this camera down right here for you guys. I'm like, oh, he's driving with the camera in his hand. He's driving again with the camera in his hand. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go like that. And we're going to go and get it in. But, yeah, so, a lot of people been following and watching the channel while seeing reaching out on YouTube. And this is so, I really appreciate that, man. Like, damn, that's just crazy. It's like everything moves too fast. But then again, it's like, it's not because... I've been doing this for a while, and I'm now starting to, you know, get the fruits of my labor, and uh, it's amazing. Like uh, Jesse Peterson, amazing. <laughs> oh, amazing. You know. Anyway, shout out to all my entrepreneurs that's out here. Shout out to all the activists out here that stands for a good cause. For the ones, even though they agree to disagree, shout out to you guys, man. And that's real because I learn something from every day. I swear I do. I learn something every day. Cause I like watching social media. It is it is full with so much. Let me cut this AC down. It is full with so much, you know, knowledge, with the, what to do's and what to don't do's, all that good stuff, you know. But I wanted to just say this to you guys, to you people. I know I speak kind of different. I know I does. I swear I does. But it's for a reason though. You know, some people think like, dang, he articulates himself some good, sometimes so good, and then outside he's like, what the hell is he talking about right here? I say things for a reason, because you got to catch on to what I'm doing. Some people are going to catch on like, dang, he said one thing and then said this, but for the ones who talk to me off, you know, offline, off YouTube, and they call me, and when I be telling them about certain things, when they say in a video, you said this, you said that. I say, I'm glad you caught on to that because that was a, not a blooper, but that was what you call, see if anybody's awoke and paying attention. And, and I clarify it for him. And like, and you did that on purpose. I see why you did that on purpose, you know? Because, um, let, let me say this. I don't know if this air is too loud, but um, a couple of people who reached out to me, they gave me my flowers and I really appreciate you guys. I really does. And they said one thing, all of them said, AL, brother. Or they said AL. Or they said in a nice little sweet lady voice. AL, you gave out too much information. And the guys be like, hey, brother, I like watching your videos, man. But, brother, you give out too much information. You're right. So, all these people, they say that. AL, 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 you give out too much, you give out too much, you give out too much information. And I be saying, like, um, in my eyes, I really don't give out too much information because I'm looking at it like this. If you can remember everything that I say, then I'll be president. <laughs> now I'm just messing with you guys. A lot of this stuff will go over your heads. So you're gonna have to have some type of video to go back on and look over it. And still not gonna really fully understand it, or some people do. Because some people, you know, they learning capacity is different. So people, I can say one thing to them and they can resonate. Or I can say one thing to 10 different people and it all wouldn't resonate. Only probably four people get it or five people get it or probably seven out of three people get it. Who knows who gets it? So that's why I say a lot of stuff for you to go back on and realize why I say it. And plus, I'm telling you all this reasons because if I tell you all this information, and I sell you guys the products or start having these products online to start having on my website. And if you guys start having problems with you guys as printers, y'all can purchase from my website. So who would you want to purchase from? The person that you trust or somebody that's going to tell you everything. And you can go try it and see how it works and be like, hey, he, he did say if I connect this and didn't properly flush this and blow my print head cable out. 
he did say this, he did say that. So what I do is try to help you guys understand and then at the same time have the products for you guys. So you won't have to go outsource. You say, hey, this guy's been truthful with us right here. I'd rather wait and get products from him because I did everything under the sun. And what's one of the things everybody go do? Go buy a used printer on the internet somewhere from a third party site. It can be any one of the sites you want to name and it's not in working condition or it is and then something happens to it and it stops working. Now you're going to be in catastrophic, you're going to have a catastrophic issue and you're going to have a main problem and the main problem is going to be that you guys need to find somebody to help you fix these printers. You're going to need somebody to help you find the actual parts. You're going to need somebody to show you how to install it and you're going to, it's going to be a lot. So that's why I give you guys all the information for you guys to go learn like I did. Nobody was here to give me all the information. Nobody was here to say, hey, go try this. And if you don't flush it out or properly clean it and properly do this and that to it, it's going to blow out on you. Boom. And you're going to have what they call that famous 1A39 code or that famous 1A37 code. Or you're going to have that 0011 code or that 0010 code. You're going to start having these codes. You're going to start having them like, what are these codes right here? What is the 0010 code? The 0011 code. What is the A the one I mean what is the A139 code? No, A139 code. Let me say it right. What are these codes? Those are motherboard codes. Those are print ribbon cable codes. Those are print head codes. So you know, you gotta understand somebody just had a a a, a 1A37 code. And that right there is when your thermal connector is with a thermal. Well, let me say this. Let me say it in latent terms. Let me start getting technical with thermal connectors and all this different type of stuff and thermal resistors and all that. Let me get all that out of my head. Get out of your head. Say it in latent terms. That's when the print head just heats the fuck up and it ain't properly connected with the cable, the ribbon cable. It ain't properly seated inside the print head. It's bent to something. And that's when you get that code because it's basically detecting temperature in the motherfucker. Let me say it like that. It's detecting temperature. That's what it is. And it's temperatures rising. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to R. Kelly, man. Damn, R. Kelly. Temperatures rising. Let me get to singing for you. And your print head is burning out. <laughs> yeah, so you got to watch out for that stuff, man. Like, hey, yo, how did you figure this out? How did you know about these codes and stuff like that? Because it happened to me, and I had to go Google them. And I figured it out. So, you guys, and then when you figure this stuff out, it's going to give you three different things to do. It's going to tell you either change the ribbon cable, change the print head, or change the motherboard. It's going to tell you that. But before you do all that, before, huh, before you do all that, before you do all that, what you got to do is say what? Power the printer off and power it back on. If the problem happens again, consult a technician. It's a technician. That's what it's going to tell you. Call this number right here. But hey, we got to know these things, guys, because at the same time, let me see my face. I know my hat looked big as hell on my head. I just threw it on my head because I got bad hair today. But look. It's not gonna be over with. I'm here to help. Truly, man. Look at my face. Look at the seriousness in my eyes. Look at the seriousness in my eyes. Mm. I'm here to help. But you guys don't understand. Trial and error is gonna cost you some money. It's gonna cost you some. God dang, man, some serious buku mother, all that cussing and all that, it's gonna cost you. You got to drop it like it's hot. You ever heard the slogans? They said, drop it like it's hot or take the bro deal, take the bend right over deal. You're gonna need to know all these things. You know what I'm saying? They be like, dang, you ever heard that story? No Vaseline? Oh, uh, yeah, you know. Didn't wanna go here with that. No Vaseline syndrome, you know what I'm saying? That's the one. That you want to get hit with. You know what I'm saying? You've been over take it with no Vaseline. Woo, man. I, I ain't never had that to me, but I know they know it's not a pretty sight. I know it's not a pretty sight. 
So let me go just say this before I get up off this line right here. For the ones that's watching the channel, really appreciate you guys. For the ones that subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate you guys. Go watch more of the content, but you'll see what I'm saying is a real long, rough game. But I'm going to say it like this. I'm going to be straight transparent with you guys. If you in this for the money, make sure you have enough money to buy multiple printers because you're going to need them. Or you're going to learn how to be a technician to some type of degree to keep your printers continuously to run. If you don't have those type of skill sets or don't think you possess those, you will. Trust me, you will. Because I had to learn. And I wasn't nowhere near what I thought I was going to be with skill set wise and all this different stuff and all this and that. I learned that shit. That's the fuck I did. Yeah, yeah. Let me see how I get my credit card real fast. I'm going to go buy me some stuff for up here and get back to the lab and really get this in before I get my, you know. So, you guys, I thank you guys. Let me close this up before we go. Thank you guys for watching. Like and comment, subscribe, and please go purchase the FOMDTF shirt. If you guys want a sweater, let me know. Like I say, my own slogan, I give it to you for the same price. Same price. Just tell me, comment, say, hey, I want the sweater. I want a large, extra large. Hey, I want green, blue, pink, purple, whatever. Just tell me that. Just tell me that. And to then, support my shit, man. Go buy 100, 1,000 of them motherfucking FOMDTF sweaters, man. Go buy like, a, like 50, 60 of them motherfuckers, man. It's into the raffle of winning ink powder software film we giving away anything and everything it must go bundles we want to enter the raffle you're gonna win something that's what we're gonna do we're gonna say you're gonna we're gonna give you this you want this you want that we're giving away stuff for you guys watching and supporting the channel supporting the brand the brand support you and to another one i'm out